back. It's it's been, it's been hard, man. Uh, all right. So Corey's <laughs> I get your fix. Yeah. Corey is gonna take us on a small journey here, uh, back into the world of Volvo, talking about the fact oh, that it seems like they have got their electric future planned out for them. So here's Corey to take the floor on uh on their future. Yep. Hey, welcome. Uh, good to see you. The next thing we'll go to is from Electrek. And that comes, uh, it's a story about the Swedish uh, car manufacturer Volvo. And basically it says Volvo previews its all electric future using its concept Recharge EV. And the Recharge, uh, the name is the Recharge. It's Recharge. Um, so you'll remember we we just, I just yesterday I think we covered another thing about Volvo right at the Light end of the arc. show. And uh, we we're talking about some of their systems on board. And this is actually something a little bit different. Uh, it's a different article, you know, with different stuff in it. But basically, it just says that the, the Volvo is basically going all in with that and say they're committing to being 100% electric by 2030. Uh, and they're really they're they're kind of sh- showcasing this a bit with uh, their concept car, the Recharge. And uh, this this article is from today, so uh, just just hot off the press as it would be. And uh, basically, it's saying that uh, right now their goal is to electrify half of its vehicles by 2025. 100% of those uh, by 2030, of course. This, this car is pretty cool. I don't know if, Mike, if you want to show oh, yeah, yeah, it's going, yeah, the it's video going. plan. Cool. Yeah, it's a 3D animation there, kind of a, around the around the car. You can see it's got suicide doors in the back, so yep. it's a little bit of a something to just note, a little bit different feature. Um, and uh, but, but one thing they're gonna going in here with is, to, is going what some other manufacturers have done and taken note of as well, that as we move to fully electric vehicles and the manufacturers look to... Uh, utilize their technology in different platforms rather than just one vehicle. They want to kind of unify the the technology in uh, all their their lineup. So they're going with flat bottom cars because again, we're not worried about transmissions anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, flat bottom for aerodynamic features. Flat bottom because that's where they're going to put the batteries for different very different reasons. One of them being CG and and a good place to store right. them. And they can actually uh, some of the manufacturers are also making it so that the batteries themselves, whether the components they're they're packaged in or the battery cells themselves also offer some rigidity so um further integrating the the storage capacity into the actual car itself uh and not just having it be kind of just extra weight right uh but anyway yeah so i mean going with that that they say um that this is the the concept car to try to help showcase some of the new technologies one of which is being that lidar we talked about yesterday oh, yeah. uh, that's going to come to different uh, different cars and they even mentioned that uh eventually the uh, xc90 mm-hmm. Uh, debuting sometime later this year is going to come with that lighter, but it'll come with lighter standard. So Ooh. they're they're going they're going right along with this um, to say that's that's you know they're going to do it. So it's it's pretty cool the design. I like the design mm-hmm. uh, as far as its angles. Right. Um, Looks like Iron I don't Man. know. It's yeah. It's I was going to say something else too because they even go down here and mention that their new design mm-hmm. for their headlights. They're calling it the Thor's hammer headlight design. Yeah. And uh, and it took me a second to be like, what are you talking about? And you look at the front, right yeah, from the looks, front. Okay, yeah, kind of does look like a hammer. Does. So, um, so overall, I kind of like the the aesthetic. It is a concept car. And I know Mike and I have talked about this before. Concept cars. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're like, man, that's really nice, very innovative. I I, I really want to see this on the production cars, and you know, whew, never see it ever again. Right. Because, uh, well, various reasons. You know, some of it's just pure PR. They they are just putting out a concept car for the good PR. But we can hope Volvo will bring some of this to market. And uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, my last part here I'll say before I kick it over to you is uh, on, on the aesthetic side, at least. <laughs> when I look at the rear of this car, mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I just don't like. I think I think a lot of designers sometimes, with personal preference, mm-hmm. they get the front of the car nice. They get the back of the car looking nice. And something about the rear. Sometimes I just like they just forget or they just don't care. Right. That, I know they, I know they do, but sometimes it just seems like you know the the design department was like off on that day uh-huh. when they did the back of the car <laughs> because well, oh it just is like flat. It doesn't even damn nah, man for me. It goes up, it goes up the windshield. It's flat top, looks good, and then you get to the end and just like falls off. No, the it's Iron Man. I mean, they they basically went for the Iron Man expression here. Is what it looks like but to anyway, me is that that's even though they're going with the Thor's hammer headlights, right? The expression yeah, to yeah, me, yeah. the angles, you know, outside of the color, if you were to put this under, you know, that that red gold colorization, this would be an mm-hmm. Iron Man car right right from the start, because actually both ways coming and going, it looks like Iron Man's looking at you in some way, which I'm not really upset about that. And and look, yeah. to start off, yeah. yes, it has the LiDAR hump, which is something we talked about. Yes, you know, Volvo is really pushing forward 
now with their pure electric future. I think they're owned by a Chinese company at this point, though, because that's one of the things that that should be noted here. I'm not I think it could be Geely, but I I, I just want to make sure that that's confirmable. And then the other part of it is, well, the car is absolutely gorgeous and Volvo does have one major advantage in their ability to do something like none others have. They generally come closer to their concept cars out of any other manufacturer that I've seen recently. And that was something that, you know, they're, they, they had the waterfall dash, which is something that they, that they really enjoyed uh, in their previous generation cars. They got that in there. This Scandinavian living room is basically their feature of the interior, which looks like something that Volvo could easily pull off. You know, and the only thing that I could really knock them on is the name. Ooh, ooh, play that video while, while you're chatting. Play that. Video. I did. I played it already a couple times. Well, the one with the oh, headlights. Yeah. It's, I'm telling you, this is this is all Iron Man. This is pretty much Iron Man. Yeah. You know, straight up, right? Not not the not that that video you got on the screen right yeah. there. The the one with the zoom in on yes. the headlights. It's pretty gorgeous because what they basically yeah. do the Thor's hammer spread, and then all of a sudden you have basically this blinking feature from the actual LEDs that come out from the back. Well, yeah, they actually like the light. The, the the running light bar yes, moves, it moves out of the way and then the high beams come through the back yep. it's i mean it's iron you man. know i look at that going okay another thing that could break because obviously it's got to move but it's still cool. right and you know look so here's the thing but like I, I said volvo has the, has the opportunity to to actually make it uh in the marketplace because they're known and and i think i was right yeah volvo is owned by geely right so Okay. Geely Motors is controlled by Zhang Geely Auto Group through subsidiaries since it's purchased from Ford uh, for <clears throat> $1.4 billion. Okay, so that's basically, this is a Chinese manufacturer that's making their stake in the, in, you know, the electric car market. And this is the brand to do it with, though, right? Volvo has so many safety firsts that are really, you know, softer dashboards, three-port harnesses, uh, different things mm -hmm. that they've, they've been credited for in their safety department. Let's see if they can crack that that nut, right? Let's see if they can really make this thing work in the marketplace and make sure that there's an opportunity for them to hit the target. Now, yep. here's the negatives. The negatives are, well, those ten, tend to be a little bit pricier in some markets. They do. Um, you're also right about the design. It could alienate customers because it is a little bit too forward in some of its its thinking and its logic where, yes, you know, the front of the car looks pretty gorgeous. The back end really doesn't have the same appeal. And overall, it it's kind of a mix between art and science on the on I would say the Cadillac esque, you know, kind of lyric <clears throat> almost way, but it may be a little bit too plain Jane for others, right? But the suicide doors look pretty cool. Um yeah. So yeah, I think they're really they they help the suicide doors are helping them really accentuate the the appearance of added space because of the flat bottom. Mm -hmm. The fact that they could just put those seats in there on that flat bottom car, right, with no humps anywhere, really, those doors really help them out with that. But yeah, it's, it's a it looks cool. Looks yeah. cool. So you know, it's they're 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 going off some very <clears throat> now traditional EV car things, which is flat bottom, like you said, gives them a lot of you know <clears throat> flexibility. However, if people do remember way 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 back when, and I'm going to talk, this is probably almost 15, 20 years ago. The car company that really previewed and had the idea of having a flat bottom battery tray vehicle was actually, I believe, GM. And and the demo version of it sat in the world of motion in Walt Disney World, uh, which was prior to it becoming test track. There was this flat EV bottom vehicle that was basically mm -hmm. the design of the future because GM had said a long time ago that they were going to go with that type of opportunity with the flat floor, flat bottom so it's not unheard of that this is going to be the you know the design that everyone followed. It's just who who was able to really implement it. So good yep. for them. Let's see. Let's see if Volvo yep. can do it. I mean, uh, it'd be interesting to see if the lidar makes it. It'll be uh, and how well it actually works. But as far as the design concept goes, I'd buy it right now. It looks pretty hot to me. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, I mean, yeah, as we said, it'd just be interesting to see if they can bring it all to market um, at a price that is reasonable. Yeah, you that's, know? that's a big question. Um, so we'll see. So we'll yep. see. Hey, uh, and with that said, tell the folks at home what they can do to help us out. Thanks so much for hanging yeah. out. If you would like us to bring more, please like, share, subscribe. Very much appreciated. It would help us out to grow the channel. If you guys are new or are returning, you know, we like to do different things. All the things, you know, from cars, technology, aviation, and space. 
And then occasionally, you know, we like to get out and do some on uh, on site stuff, whether it be launches or go to racetracks and do stuff like that. So we're all over the place, but we like to like to bring you guys along. So that all helps. So thank, thank you. you so much, everybody. And uh, yeah, we would be out there covering a rocket launch right now if the weather had improved. But unfortunately, it's still <clears> hit or miss here. Uh, but, you know, hey, that's the way it goes. All right. So continuing 